Welcome back to the Mojave, everybody. Welcome back to New Vegas, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Axe. All three versions of the Axe, or I guess the two variants of the Axe, plus the unique version of the Fire Axe. So there are three, at least, regular swinging axes in the game, not counting all the throwing axes, which we've already talked about. So we're going to be going over those and how strong they are, what type of perks work with them, and all that good stuff. Let's start out with the hatchet first. The hatchet is the one-handed axe. That is probably the most rare version of the axe. I don't know why that is. It seems like really only fiends carry around hatchets, at least in the base game. I think you can potentially get them from like the lobotomites at low levels in Old World Blues but they might be the only other ones that actually have this. So the hatchet requires 25 melee and two strength to wield. Not very much melee, not very much strength. This one does 16 damage per hit, which is okay for a one-handed melee weapon. It's not incredible, but it's all right. This does 41 damage per second. The hatchet does actually attack fairly fast, which is nice. Does 16 crit damage, which is okay. Has a one times crit modifier, also okay. Costs 22 action points to use in VATS, which is a little bit high for a melee weapon. It's not super high, you can still get quite a few hits in with that, but it's not as good as some other one-handed melee weapons that you might be able to get by the time you could get a hatchet. This one weighs two weight overall, and it has 300 item health, which makes it very durable. That's actually something that is really good for the hatchet. It, just like all the other melee weapons, has its own unique VATS attack. For the hatchet, this is Backslash, which is the same as like the knives, same as a lot of the one-handed bladed weapons. And this VATS attack is fine. It makes it so you can hit things uh, for less action points. And I think it makes it so you do slightly less damage, which is okay. The hatchet also has a unique effect on it, similar to the machete, where it gets an extra 1.5 times limb damage on it. So you can break limbs even quicker with the hatchet, which is pretty cool. That makes it so you can do even more damage overall. And it can make it so if you tear off a limb from an enemy, you can just kill them a little bit quicker than you would otherwise, assuming that you just don't outright kill them with the hatchet. <laughs> Let's go the pros the cons and then the perks for this too and then we'll rank the hatchet and we'll move on to the fire axe because there is at least one perk that helps out with this weapon that doesn't help out with the fire axes so for the general pros of the fire axes and the hatchet overall at least the axes do really good damage and have really good damage per second the hatchet has okay damage and okay damage per second but it does have high item health so that is actually pretty good the cons to these weapons are all that they're fairly rare though. Fire axes are going to be the easiest one to get. There are a couple locations that you can get fire axes on, especially early on if you're willing to do it. If you go directly above Good Springs where you have that area with the Cazadors, there are going to be corpses there that have fire axes, which make it so you can make pretty good money because fire axes are worth a lot, or you can have a really strong melee weapon to begin with. If you go to like the fire station in Camp Searchlight, then there's going to be fire axes on the walls that you can always get to. That's also where the unique fire axe is. So that's pretty awesome. For hatchets, you're basically going to have to either go to Old World Blues early and take them off the lobotomites, or you're going to have to go and fight fiends early on. And that could potentially get you some axes too, which is kind of nice. The hatchet also counts as a holdout weapon too. I believe it's a 50 sneak holdout weapon, but you can sneak the hatchet into areas. As for the perks that can help out with the hatchet and the fire axes, Slayer is really good because it gets you increased attack speed, super slam so you can knock down enemies. That's just really strong in, with melee in general. Purifier so you do extra damage towards things like death claws and super mutants. Piercing strike so you can punch through armor, which is always good. And then cowboy in particular helps out the hatchet because that is something that is actually affected by the cowboy perk. So you can get an extra 25% more damage, which does make the hatchet it substantially better than it would be otherwise since it has okay stats overall and at least buffing up its damage makes it so it has a little bit above average stats I guess for a one-handed melee weapon by the time you're getting it and the main problem is you could just get something like chance's knife which also gets a bonus from something like cowboy and is just flat out better than the hatchet overall anyway there is kind of that but that's not really fair we always talk about chance's knife since it's just one of the strongest early game weapons for an overall rating for the hatchet, I think I'd put this one up into B tier on my tier list. I think it's okay so long as you have the cowboy perk. It's not incredible. It's not going to be like one of the most standout melee weapons, but I do know a lot of people really liking this just because it is something that's kind of unique and kind of hard to get. As well as I know there's plenty of people that don't even know the hatchet exists whenever I talk about this or any of the throwing like hatchet versions besides I guess the proton axes where it's like, yeah, these are fairly rare but uh, you can get them and they can be pretty decent. Let's move on to the Fire Axe next and talk about that and its unique variant. So the Fire Axe requires more strength and more melee than the Hatchet does. This one requires 75 melee and five strength in order to wield. Not the hardest thing in the world to get for a melee build, so you can actually get these pretty early on and use them pretty effectively. 
The Fire Axe does 55 damage per hit. It does a lot of damage per hit, which is really good. 87 damage per second. These don't swing the fastest, but they still swing fairly fast for a two-handed melee weapon. Uh, this one does 27 crit damage. Similar to other two-handed melee weapons, it does half the amount of crit damage as its regular damage, like the Super Sledge does too. I don't know why they decided to do that, but it's okay. This one has a one times crit modifier, so average crits. Cost 22 action points, the same as the hatchet, weirdly enough. I don't know why that is, but it's an okay amount of action points for the weapon that you're using. Fire axes weigh eight weight, so they are a little bit heavy, but since it is a melee weapon, you're, you don't really need to carry around anything more. And if you have like jury rigging, you can fix this with literally any two-handed melee option. So if you find pool cues or nail boards or anything like that, you can fix it right up. And then the Fire Axe has 200 item health, so it doesn't break very fast either. The Fire Axe is just a very solid all-around melee weapon that can kind of do everything pretty well and has even more pros than something like the Hatchet does. It also has a different unique Vats attack where both the Hatchet, where both the Fire Axe and Knock Knock have the Mauler attack, which the Mauler attack is probably the best Vats attack that you can have for a melee weapon since you can knock enemies down with it. And that makes it really easy for you just to wail on them afterwards. This combined with like Super Slam is really strong overall. The Fire Axe is just a really great weapon. I would put it up into A tier. I think the Fire Axe is actually a really decent melee weapon that's really good at anything. And I know it's plenty of people's favorite like melee weapon to be using and I can totally understand why. It is really, really fun and really satisfying. Now there is still the unique version of the Fire Axe and that is called Knock Knock. This one can be found in Camp Searchlight. It is found in the fire station. It is found on the second floor of the fire station and you do have to do either part of a quest for this or you have to kill Logan who has the keys to both the police station and the fire station in order to get into there. Once you get into there, there is a rad scorpion queen. So you're gonna have to deal with that as well as some other rad scorpions and the place is full of radiation. So make sure you take your rad X and rad away while you're in there. And then you have to go to the second floor. It's found in the bathroom and it's found in a stall and it's just hidden up against the stall. It's kind of one of the more difficult, unique weapons to find, especially if you weren't aware that it was already there. So I, it's gonna be really difficult for you to accidentally stumble upon Knock Knock. But if you do, then you get a really cool ax. This one is a reference to The Shining with Knock Knock. I like to think that it's more of a reference to American Psycho with the way that it looks though, so. You can cosplay as Patrick Bateman if you would like and just go on an axe murder spree, which is really fun. This one requires 75 melee as well to wield and five strength, same as the regular fire axe. This one does more damage at 66 damage per hit, which is quite high. This one does 119 damage per second, which is really good. It has a 33 crit damage to it. So half of its regular damage is crit damage, which again is kind of weird for this weapon and other melee weapons, but it's okay. It's still a decent amount of damage. One times crit modifier. This one costs less action points at 21 rather than 22 like the others. I don't know why that is, but it is kind of nice that it does do that. This one weighs eight. And weirdly enough, Nog Nog is one of the unique weapons that actually has less item health than its regular counterpart, where Nog Nog only has 110 item health rather than the 200 that the regular fire axes do. This one I would say is generally better than the regular Fire Axe, and once you have jury rigging, the item health really doesn't matter because you could fix it again with pool cues or whatever. And Nog Nog is a very solid option and probably one of my absolute favorite options for a melee weapon. I think I'd put this one up into S tier, but it is on the low end of S tier, bordering on A tier. I don't think it's one of the strongest melee weapons in the game, but I mean, I have to give some respect to Nog Nog because I, it's always one of my, my go-to weapons in the game and it's just, it's so nice to use. Feels really strong. Doesn't necessarily feel overpowered, but feels really strong regardless. So that'll do it for the hatchet and the fire axes. Tell me your thoughts on them down in the comments below. How do you like using them? Does anybody here use the hatchet at all as like a weapon that they're going to use? I haven't really heard many like cowboy builds using it either. I'd be curious if you do. I know a lot of people really like the fire axes and knock knock though, so I wouldn't be too surprised if people said that that was their favorite weapon or favorite melee weapon in the game, because it's probably one of my favorites too. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye everyone.